Hey guys, what's up? My name is Chris, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to mask three different ways. First one is gonna be the most basic one, which is pretty much just masking an image, and then we're gonna go on to motion masking, and then motion masking an object into a clip. So first off, I'm gonna start off with the most basic one, which is just masking an image. So I'm just gonna choose this one as an example. So what you wanna do in order to mask is you're gonna go down here to the bottom right corner of your clip. It's gonna be called Event Pan Crop. You can go ahead and click that. And so I'm just gonna go delete these other keyframes here and then we're gonna go to this one here. Okay, first of all what you wanna do you're probably gonna start off here, uh, like this. And what you're gonna do uh, what you're gonna wanna do is go to the bottom left to mask, take the box, and then go ahead and start masking. Use your mask scroll to zoom in, zoom out, you know, the basic stuff. And then to actually mask, you're gonna wanna choose this option here, Aqua Creation Tool, or you can press D for short and then go ahead and just mask the outline of the image and I'm just going to do a really rough one here just to set an example and then once you're done that you should have only the face or whatever you want out of it and like the background is gone anything you choose not to be in the masking is black or you can replace it with another image I'm just going to do a really rough one here and then there we go zoom out and there that's really rough I'm just gonna you can choose this option here called normal edit tool and what you can do there is you can click on it and then it'll bring this box up here which you can then use to either rotate the mask or you can uh, you can go and increase the size or decrease it however way you want it and I just kind of lost it here hold on there we go and you can double click uh, on the lines here on the sec little segments and this black arrow will pop off and what you can do there is you can kind of move the segments around to fit whatever you feel is necessary so yeah right there and anything inside the mask is revealed anything outside it is um, pin or erased or however you want to call it but you can change this you can go to mode uh, or under path you can press negative so that what you mask is hidden and the rest is revealed or you can just go to disable just disable everything um, go to the default positive and what you see here is kind of like you know a little jagged rough and whatnot you can go to feather type, I usually press in because it's, it's a lot smoother that way. Go to one and then yeah, it's all like it's all smoother instead of like really rough kind of texture. So you can choose between out, uh, in both or just none at all. And that's it for the basic masking. Uh, if you want to move the screen around, just go back here, normal path, uh, normal edit tool, we'll just move it around like that. If I want to go back in, I'll uh, just like, click here, and then, you know, uh, go ahead and start masking another. So we're going to go on ahead and move to motion masking. And I've, I think I prepared one here. Yeah, here it is. Okay. I was going to go ahead and shift B this to kind of mini render it. So that you can see the full kind of quality, uh, the full video without any lag. So right here, that's what it should look like. Uh, I kind of messed up at the end there. So, yeah, there we go, like that. And this is the before. Oh, I'm just render the whole thing out. Shift B is to render. By the way, it's the mini render, and it depends. Like, well, okay, we'll get to that in another tutorial. But for now. That's before and that's after. So what we're doing is removing the background and only focusing on the leaf. So what you want to do there is the exact same as last time. Go down here, event pan crop, click the mask, and then all you have to do is mask uh, image, uh, the image you want, frame by frame as it moves along the screen. So like that for example, and then. Once you see it move, you go ahead, right click, reset mask, and then do it again. 
and then just keep doing this frame by frame until you end up um, with this one here that I want to show you. Just keep doing And then, yeah. We've got the motion mask already done. Now it's really rough. But, yeah, I hope you get the idea. <laughs> um, and that's how it should end up. And then again, if you want, you can change it so that the leaf is gone and the background is the only thing revealed. But yeah, this is. I'd use this for like transitions and whatnot. And yeah, let's go to motion masking an object into the screen. And if I can find one. Okay, guys, I'm back and I've got the clips ready. And this is from Axel World, and this is from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Um, okay, let's get started. So what I want to do is I want to just frame by frame, again, motion mask, uh, his hand. Uh, once, like, let's say around 4 frames, until he reaches that point there, and then I'm going to make it, uh, I'm going to reveal the background. What I'm going to do is going to, like, over here the motion masking will start here with his hand and then gonna fade in and then once it reaches up here it, that's when the background will be revealed and it'll transition into that one so we'll go ahead and what you need to do as well is copy this and then paste another one so you need two layers for this one the top layer is for the masking the bottom layer is for the background transition so one, two, three, four. We'll just go for four frames. Or, um, let's go there. That's where we're gonna stop the masking, and then that's where the transition's gonna stop. Okay, we'll leave this over here for now, and then we'll just concentrate on the masking. Okay. So first thing you wanna do is again go to mask, then you're gonna hit, gonna go ahead and mask his hand. So we'll do that now. You can press Ctrl Z to uh, undo the masking seat down. And I'm just gonna do it really rough so I can make this video as short as possible. And once you're done with the masking, which I'm gonna be in a few seconds, you go ahead and do that for the rest of the frames. So this one's pretty much the same. So I'm gonna head and stick another frame in there with the same masking. Go ahead and reset mask over here. I'm gonna go and drag the image here so I can see better. Then go ahead and mask the frame again. You just keep pretty much repeating the process over and over again to get what you want. And I'd say you don't need to go overboard with frames, especially uh, if it's in a fast pace kind of AMV. I usually want to have it around 3 to 4 frames for at most. If it's kind of a slow MV, I'd say around 5, 6, maybe 7. And here we see the sun, so I'm just gonna like um, try to imagine where his finger would be. Like that. And then let's continue on masking. You don't want to have too much frames. Uh, with the masking, because one, it'll just waste your time, two, probably won't go well with the music, and three, you just, yeah, it's just overdoing it. <laughs> so, we start the mask again, do it again. No. So nearly there, how many frames? Just the one, two, three, four, it's one, four frames. So I guess we'll stop around here. Uh, so this is gonna be our last mask over here. I messed that one up. And uh, if you guys want tutorials, um, you know, just message me what tutorials you want. I'll try make some as you know quickly as possible. Just you know, just message me, contact me or something. Tell me what you want, I'll try to give it. Mm -hmm. 
so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the masking here. Maybe just move this a bit because no, it's just a slight difference. There. And then reset mask. So that's a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 frames until you reset the mask. Okay, so what you wanna do now is get your second clip, the one you copied over, and then once it starts, or I should probably like, yeah, it'll fade in nice and smoothly, two frames, let's say, and then it'll transition in like that. So that's around six, I'll make it around four or five, maybe four, like that. So this is what it should look like, yeah. Now obviously the masking is really, you know, rough and not very good, but if you spend time on it, it'll look really cool and it's just, yeah, that transition will be really smooth. Don't forget to also feather the outside the corners, so it won't look jagged, it'll look much smoother. Like for example here, I always go for in, because it w it's what makes these things look a lot smoother, so uh, not too much, just, I'd say one, like that. And do the same with the other frames. So I look you now. You can already see the difference. And then for here as well. I'll show you another preview. Highlight this, shift B, so it won't lag. There you go. All done. Now, if you don't want to have this in, uh, that's good too. Though it'll look a bit rougher, but it should be fine. Like that. Mm, okay, yeah. So that's the three types of masking I've told you. How long was this video? 13 minutes longer than I thought it would be. But oh well. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. And if you want tutorials on anything at all, like that's involving Sony Vegas and everything sure contact me I'll try get it done as fast as I can so I can give it to you guys uh, as soon as I can and yeah that's it I'll see you guys later hope you enjoyed the video and learn from it and yeah subscribe like the video favorite if you want and I'll see you